All right, no breaks needed. It's a little late in the night, but I thought I'd go ahead and read this chapter. We're just gonna go right into it. No long introductions needed. I look down and I see the title, Termination? <laughs> My man Vegapunk, bro, what's happening with him? Ooh, hold up. Is this a continuation? Is this a new story? We got a new cover story? A submerged Onigashima. Onigashima. Why is it submerged? What? This is the old Wano. It's, it's submerged in the old Wano. Who did that? Last time we checked, it was... Whoa, this, this brings up so many questions. Last time we checked, that thing was sitting outside of the capital. Okay, you know what? I guess Momonosuke took it and he was like, no, we're getting rid of this. <laughs> you don't want this big ass skull just outside of the flower capital. Just putting fear into like <laughs> in the civilian's eyes. So, okay, I can, I get that. Also, it's a symbol of Kaido's, you know, terror and reign. So, you don't want that outside of the flower capital as the new Shogun. That's like, this is probably one of the first things he wanted to do as Shogun. I went to Shibuya to get a taste of some man, manjayaki goodness. What is that? I gotta look that up later. But there were long lines everywhere. I heard that. I heard <laughs> I, I, I heard Tokyo is just, you're just sitting in line all the time. So I gave up. Is it really that popular there? I love reading these notes. These are, <laughs> these are fantastic. So Termination, he's definitely dying. Is he dying this chapter or... I'll be surprised if he lives, because he's not a combatant, he's not a fighter that can just tank hits like that. He's gotten stabbed quite a few times. Stella, is this wise? Zaza, something's buzzing out. Even if you set this broadcast to start suddenly, it may not work. Hmm? Huh? What do you mean, Shaka? Shaka is long dead. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's in the recording. I want Shaka to come back, because I just remembered that he had, like, a little nice conversation... With Dragon, that one time, I was like, okay, that was important, right? I, I wonder, <clears throat> it sucks that Shock is dead, presumably. We're counting too much on people being ready to receive and relay this. You know how it is with information. Agencies will always spread the news around by the world the next day. You think so? But what if someone intercepts our censors? What if someone intercepts or censors our message? What the, where's this broadcast coming from? So, like, unedited, unfiltered, like, he's about to drop some information. <laughs> like, he got this little conversation going down with Shaka, unedited, unfiltered. We about to get the full void century story. <laughs> it's coming from shit. It's coming from every ship's transponders now. Oh, my God. <laughs> can, can you really intercept a transmission like that? You're right, any suggestions? It has to be like Marine Corps level, like being broadcasted to everybody around every single corner of the world. We could piggyback off of the Navy's comms traffic. Cut the connection. That's the thing we can't. <laughs> Bro, we about to spill the beans. <laughs> My dude about to spill the beans. Let's go, Einstein. That would allow us to force a worldwide constant broadcast with our signal at... Signal strength at maximum. <laughs> Luffy's like, hmm? This is the first time he's interested, bro. He's interested in any backstory. He's always like, no, nah, I'm gonna walk this off. I'm gonna go take a walk. I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm not interested in your backstory. Or this is not backstory, but, like, you know, like, I'm not interested in the lore. You know? I'm not interested in the Last time he was interested was, you know, you know, every time I think about the One Piece anime in Wano, I always hear Luffy like, did you need my, or whatever, like 20 years ago, 20 years ago, the Wano stood still or something like that. So he was interested in the Odin stuff, but a uh, dude, him, him, he's holding them and he's like, hmm, Vegapunk? He about, he about to spit some info? I see. That'll make it possible for anyone with a transponder snail to receive our initial voice message, but they'll still need a while to prepare for their visual to prepare their visual transponder snails. The time to set that up will vary from place to place. Let's take an interval of one hour 
Okay, so we are not going... Was Vegapunk going to, like, show, like, a slideshow or something? <laughs> what was he going to do? Like, what was he going to show? Like, I guess his face as he's talking, but for the most part, his voice is plenty enough, right? What are you planning to say, Vegapunk? He's sweating. You got the two sweat marks. Dot, dot, dot from, from Usopp. That's Vegapunk, right? An hour? That's too long. Don't you realize what will happen in that time? Where is it coming from? Why now? Dude, look at the... <laughs> Look at the Vikings, bro. I love it. There are people who won't be pleased when we start this broadcast. They may find a way to terminate it before we finish. Ah, fair point. In that case, let the preparation interval... Set set the preparation interval to... 10 minutes. Oh my lord. Vegapunk, that, that's your voice, right? Hey, bro. Bro. Get this man the shot. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at this font, bro. Why am I getting hype over this font right now? I'm getting shocked by this. This is a, this is a huge switch up. This, this must be important. People of the world. Saturn, oh my god. Okay, so I got spoiled on this. I couldn't avoid spoilers, com spoilers completely. I actually tried to mute a bunch of tags related to this chapter. And... Uh, they broke through. They broke through the the, the fortress <laughs> of of those muted words. So apparently Saturn has some telepathy between him and the other Grosse, I think? Let's find out though. Let me confirm that if this is actually true. Look at the architecture of Marijua. I don't think we've ever seen Marijua at this angle. Like a front facing angle of Pangea Castle and the the other buildings down below. That looks nice. Yo, the assistants kind of kind of went crazy with this. The Holy Land of Marijua. What is this transmission? What is the meaning of this? Saturn, have you dealt with Vegapunk? So yeah, they can, they can definitely communicate with each other like that. They got like a psychic link or, some, or something like that. Yeah, this is the panel that I saw. Um, I didn't look at it. I, I didn't like look at the whole thing. I kind of glanced at it and I looked away because I'm like, oh, oh, that's the new chapter. Nope. Kizaru delivered a killing blow. I saw it myself. Sheesh. Kizaru's a bum. <laughs> I was gassing this man up for the longest. And he does that, bro. He does that to make a punk. Bro, I can't trust none of these admirals, man. I used to have I used to have so much I was such a fan of Kuzan, man. And then he goes ahead and does that to Garp. It switches up because I thought he was trying to play double agent for Blackbeard, and then it turns out he was actually just riding for the man. I'm like, you are weird. And then Kuzan does this, and you see his backstory, and you're thinking that he's gonna switch up and be with the quote unquote good guys, and then he does that to Vegapunk, someone he's been with and befriended for a minute and actually had a connection with, like on on a serious level, more than. More than the Goral saying and everything, but just because they're the hierarchy and, you know, whatever, he decides to remain loyal to these bums. Making him a bum by proxy. I just hate it, man. You can't win with these admirals. Am I gonna, am I gonna see Alkainu switch up? That's gonna be crazy. All my favorites, all of my favorites turning into bums and then like Akainu is the one that switches up? That is gonna be insane. But I doubt it. Like he, he, he's, he's murderous. He killed a whole bunch of civilians on Ohara just because he thought letting a single one of them go at the thought of there being one of the scholars on that ship. That was crazy. I can't, <laughs> I can't get behind Sakazuki. That is, he is not a friend of mine, bro. He should be dead. Hmm. He could have set up a dead man switch. That's what they call it. That sounds that sounds tough, but at the same time, he's dying. <laughs> a dead man switch. I love that. I kind of like that term. So that this message would play upon his death of his would play upon the death of his main body. I I always forget that. I forgot he switch. What happens to the brain brain fruit? You got to kill all the rest of the satellites, and then the brain brain fruit uh, at fully disappears, and it transfers to a different fruit. That's an interesting thought. I just forgot about that. By them saying, like, the death of his main body, we still got other Vegapunks alive. And they, you know, they share the same brain. 
I'm sure I'm sure they have void century knowledge, do they? Or is it just Stella? That seems likely. We have no way of knowing what he will say. Well, and I'm wondering what's hap what's going to happen with York. Um, if we can just pinpoint the source of this broadcast, the only location that seems plausible is the Labrosatum on Aked, but it's currently protected by that barrier of his. I want. I need to. I need to look up what their warrior god's uh, affinity is, because I want to pinpoint what type of arc they would be associated with. Like after this Aked arc, I need to look at this. I think last time I said like. I'm just spitballing, saying like, oh, maybe agriculture will go to like somewhere in Elbath or some something like that, but I, like probably not. Maybe maybe a Chaba related? No, I don't know. Or, or like Usopp related arc. Agriculture. Usopp's been using a lot of plant based, um, you know, pellets for his slingshot. Anyway, what should we do for the remaining half of the? Uh, wait, <clears throat> remaining nine and a half minutes. Kata. We could get inventing, so there's there's so much to do. <laughs> He's like, yeah, let me work on this little side project before I just drop this void century information on the world. <laughs> How about some coffee? And we're we're going back and forth between areas and locations. Dress Rosa, did you hear that? This is Dr. Vegapunk we're talking about. If you're trying to tell the world something, it must be a big deal. Get a visual transponder snow. <laughs> They're getting ready. <laughs> They're getting ready. Imagine if it was one hour. They would have had the full 4K HDR instead of <laughs> Yo, jumbo screen, everything. Full stadium full of thousands of people. Voice entry drop. Voice entry reveal. <laughs> Face reveal. Harry, we only have 10 minutes. The wise man Luffy land? The wise man Luffy land kidnapped? What's happening? Oh yeah, so most of this scene is happening in Dressrosa now. I thought we were going to go to a different part. Yo, look at... They were training too. Where are they? They sweating. They're training. You got Carol. She got, uh... I'm sorry, I forgot her name. Rebecca or something. You got the goat. You got the goat. Anybody who, anybody who attacks Charlos is my goat. Don't tell me you guys trust another bad article about Lucy. Still calling, still calling Lucy, that's hilarious. I could also calculate the probability of interferen interference happening. We got the video ready. Is that Vegapunk? I mean, both of them are. It's like three of them on screen. Dang, they got that, they, they got that thing ready real quick. He's Fuchsia Village, he's <laughs> What is going to happen? <clears throat> Halfway through the chapter. Oh my god. At the party's bar, man. Oh my god. I was just rereading chapter one, too. This is crazy. What's this all about? I was just gonna. I thought it was just gonna be more news about bad mouthing Luffy. A visual transponder snow. If only the village had one. How about it, Mayor? Yeah, they don't got the technology like that. Just a backwater village, basically. Who's gonna pay for that? <laughs> raising, raising it wouldn't be free, you know. Isn't having audio enough? No, <laughs> no, bro. What do you mean, yo? This mayor, man. <laughs> Water seven. Oh my god. If they drop, um, if they drop any info about Pluton, I swear. In this, in this video. Oh my god. This, in this call. Wake up, this isn't good. Uh, oh, it's pretty to have the screen message. Oh yeah, she's from the cover. When he, I remember that, that was pretty funny too. He was trying to get a bunch of people to replace um, Khalifa as his secretary. And then she ended up being the, the candidate. Why is there a mouse on her head? Yes, Mr. President. It's already playing from the room next door. Screens for each dock are also being prepared. It's nighttime, but considering the importance of this event, a summons has been issued notifying all citizens to be within a screen <laughs> within 10 minutes. Is there anything else? Yo, they all... Bro, Vegapunk got so bull. <laughs> He's just gonna have people waking up in, in dead of the night, and then it's like, yo, you gotta be within a screen in 10 minutes, or else, like, 
or not like that, not like or else, but you know, like mandated. Nah, Vegapunk, Vegapunk got that influence. Cause there ain't no way. Her name is pronounced Ali, Alish, Alishe, Alich, whatever. World Economic Journal, Morgan's bro. <laughs> Morgan's about, to, Morgan's about to have a heart attack. Morgan's about to have a heart attack. This is gargantuan news. <laughs> Birdman. Bro, oh my god. What's with this feed? It's being relayed through a navy through navy frequencies, but it's it's unencrypted. Where are Luffy son and the others? Vivi, oh man. Vivi and Wobble. <laughs> Don't be a ditz. Look at the clock in the background. That isn't the current time at Egghead. This must be. This must have been pre-recorded. After all, the Buster Call is bound to have reduced the island to a sea of flames by now. Not really. <laughs> you would think. West Blue. Oh my God, bro! All right, here we go. Here, here we go. We're getting a lot more islands and parts of the world now. Everybody knows Vegapunk. Okay, so everybody's everybody has seen his face before, right? Oh no, no, no they haven't. Oh no, they haven't. Look, dialogue. <laughs> Read dialogue. Is Doctor Vegapunk in the flesh? I heard his mind was cut above the rest, but I didn't, this isn't what I expected. Up in the North Blue, is this the island that Frankie was on that one time? The man who lit up the world. In the South Blue, yo, <laughs> they got the Jumbotron everywhere. Okay, so they set that thing up in 10 minutes. He's going through all the trouble. What does he want the world to know? It might be, this is the ultimate Lord chapter. <laughs> Okay, please, all right, get through this, get through this, don't, don't hype out and stop. It might be the intervention, it might be the invention of the century or something. Everybody's expecting a, oh my god, a huge spread page of, of the queendom. Huge revolutionary spread page. Oh my god, look at the, look at the panel layout on this. Okay. It'll take ten minutes to brew the coffee. I won't get a sip in. I see the probability of interferences in this frame is extremely low. Okay, it's just repeating from what it was what it said before. What is Vegapunk up to now? More importantly, has he lost his head? So, oh yeah, everybody's now seeing what he looks like now. I'm sure some of the refs seen what he he had looked like before, but like Eva, Eva probably had seen Vegapunk um, in the past, and Dragon, of course, you know. Dragon, dragon, still looking. He's looking west. <laughs> He's looking west. <laughs> Yo, those memes are hilarious. My man, my man sitting on his ass looking east for, <laughs> for 900 chapters. So that's the Dr. Vegapunk everybody's always talking about. Yo, it is good to see Sabo safe. Mm, it's, yeah, it's good to see the whole crew safe, man. That was crazy. He's quite the man to do this in the middle of a crisis. Dot dot dot. <laughs> like I think, I think that also refers to you, Sabo. Like that counts. You you are part of the whole entire collective crisis. I think I'll be dead soon. Oh, so Shaka wasn't just talking about himself as a satellite. He was talking about like him and the Stella. He was talking on, he was talking like on part of him and the Stella and a dot 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 from Dragon. Dragon, if you pulled up this, this would have been completely different, man. You just put up, use your weather thing that you did on, uh, at Logtown. Maybe, maybe it wouldn't have done anything, but still, a difference would have been made. Somewhat. We gotta see, we gotta see. We can't even scale Dragon because we've never seen him do any action before. This is why people are calling him a fraud. Now he's staring west. Back at Egghead though. This is Luffy. Looks like my punches don't damage you. <laughs> and he's laughing about it. Okay, we whoa, we got a mixture of like, yo, this this spread page panel layout is insane. Like, look how many we're counting this as one page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Transitional panel, nine, ten, eleven. Transitional panel, twelve, thirteen. Four. Like, bro, <laughs> it's so much. Looks like my punches don't damage you. He's just smiling about it. Insane looking, looking this Ushioni eyes. 
his glint, he's, his eyes are glinting, and they're both doing a simultaneous attack on him. He's eating it, of course. He's in gear five. Still palming this man. I'm not letting, I'm not letting you two run off. So he, he's not trying to fight him. He's just, you know, trying to hold them off for as long as he can. He's shooting beams at him. He's trying to use his pincers. I'm just realizing that. He's going to slam him into the ground. Not till I'm sure my friends have escaped. This is the Katakuri fight on a much grander scale. That's amazing. He needs to let his friends escape. And he's holding back an admiral and a girl. <laughs> oh my god. Gum gum. Booming dawn. Let me see this. What kind of... Ooh. Ooh. blood this isn't blood right booming dawn symbol okay that wasn't the end of the attack so he could do other vari variations of booming dawn we're seeing symbol I want to see show me all the instruments bro we're about to have an orchestra we about to jam out that's not blood it's probably like you know gear 5 goofiness like am I seeing their did I just see their bodies misshapen, bro? Is it? This is real tune. We're, oh, we're getting Tom and Jerry piece right now. We're getting. Oh my God. He just. He's spinning them around like a pie, like a pizza pie. We about to make up the pizza. <laughs> Since you, since you keep getting better no matter what, bro, he's, Luffy is making the pizza, bro. He's making the pizza of an Admiral and a Gorosei. I didn't think this was possible. This is more than what he's ever done against Kaido. Like, I know, he turned him into a jump rope. What else did he do? Balloon. He, he's done a lot. He's, he's done quite a few wacky things against Kaido, but this is nothing like what happened on, ro on the roof. This is nothing like roof piece. This the egg piece is real different. Because <laughs> I never see Kaido get rolled up and put into... And put into... This is crazy. I'll send you flying. Toss them like two frisbees trademark i'll send you flying for good can they get out of that is it how, what's the time what's the timer on being manipulated by tune force and then going back to normal they don't even have dialogue like saying like Ugh, or uh like no grunts or anything they just got packed <laughs> like they got nothing no words to say i'm just now seeing the stars over their head they are cooked tosses them how many miles did he just throw them off the island, bro? <laughs> he threw something. Yeah, they're just something now, bro. Huh? He threw them at the ships. Waka! The laugh. Oh, you can see a little crustiness in this. Alright, that's... Dang, bro. I want to take a break after this. You need a break, because I was surprised that there was no break after the last chapter. But then again, I really wanted to see the, a continuation to whatever was going to happen with um, Vega Punk's info. Probably next chapter, but yeah, there needs to be a break after this. Obviously, the volume releases are going to look better, but dang, bro, look at this. <laughs> Need that break, Oda. Take your time. Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Saturn? Saturn just... Okay, how was he able to do that? I guess, alright, Toon Physics ran out. Now he's sort of back to normal, and then he just, like, boomeranged himself right back to Luffy. Kizaru couldn't do that. <laughs> Kizaru, I don't see him nowhere right now. And he's already been damaged quite a lot, so that makes sense. But but Saturn, though, what's, gonna, what's it going to take to keep you down? Kizaru-san, what in the world happened? Are you alright? Admiral, <laughs> look at him. 
Yo, stay down. Stay down, bro. You've been a bum for way too long. You need to cool down. I need you back. I need you back, man. I need you back. I need you back. You don't be a bum, man. I you can't be cool on status right now. Just lay just lay there for a little bit, man. You've been taught a lesson by Luffy. Just lay there, please. Please. There's no time, Saturn. Alright. Is this is this a telepathy thing? Spread page down below. Oh my oh my god. There's no time, Saturn. We cannot allow Vega Punk to speak freely. Whoa! That was close. He's doing Gatling uh, pincers now. And I'm sure they got venom in them. Wait, what's happening? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There it is. This is our ship. I hope Vegapunk and the others are alright. Okay, so that was that was one of the giants talking like that. Like, they found their ship. Atlas. Atlas, Kuma, and Bonnie. So that's where they were. I forgot. Okay, so that was just Frankie in the, in the thing. I just saw something. I shall perform the summoning very well. Okay, yeah. So we're getting more. Yo, that is crazy. We're getting more of... We're getting more... Oh, I can't speak right. More of the demonic magic stuff that these girls they have. I'm sure the others have it too, but we're seeing it for the most part within uh, Saturn showing it off. Zap, zap. And it's... Okay, this magic lightning is not hockey lightning. This is just, you know, demonic celestial dragon girl say magic that they're pulling off. What the? Black lightning? They're saying black lightning, but I'm pretty sure it's not Conqueror's lightning. There's no way. There's no way, right? Yo, yo. Yo. Mother flame? What's happened? Okay. Yo, break next week. I just saw that. Dude. 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 <laughs> Alright, I'm not I'm not looking to the left. I'm so glad it's like a thin it's a thin group of panels to the left because that way I can't really uh you know divert my eyes. I'm looking at this panel down to the bottom right. Tiny, tiny little gear five Luffy, two exclamation marks and a question mark. Just looking at this chaos that he just unleashed by himself. Giant demon demonic ox spider. This is crazy. This panel is wild. He has like he has like his own miniature version of of the Mother Flame. He's just, but I'm sure he's not gonna decimate the island. He's just trying to take down. He's trying to he's trying to take down Luffy, get him out the way, and then finish Vega Punk and destroy the transmission. But look at this. Look at the size of that. This thing is like, this thing is double the size of Saturn. Alright, now we can go back up. We can look at the others. Look. <laughs> Yo, look at the perspective and angle of this panel. His eyes popping out of his head. What's going on? The hell? It's just like when that spider geezer appeared. Yeah, so when he first appeared, this is what happened. And now he's just, oh no, wait. The other Gorosei are pulling up. I thought he, I thought this was just an attack. I thought this was just an attack. The planets are aligning. I, I am so mad that it took me however many minutes to realize these aren't just demonic lightning, black lightning attacks. I just, I just peeped. I shall perform the summoning. One, two, three, four, five. I thought these are just regular ass attacks. He's, he's calling his homies. He is calling his homies. The questions are blowing up in my brain right now. I thought we were just going to get one or two, one or two girls say per final saga arc. 
I did not think all five of them were going to pull up on Egghead like this. This is insane. Luffy's about to fight all five of these dudes single-handedly. This is... This is the greatest damn manga I have ever been blessed with reading on a weekly basis. This was peak. This was peak. This was peak. Oh my god. Do you remember when Sabo was fighting all five of them? And they tanked that one flame attack he unleashed on them. And it did no damage at all. They were looking fine and dandy in their silhouette forms. We are about to see what Luffy can do right now. We... This definitely warrants a break. This definitely... Like, a break is needed. I think a two-week break needs to be in order. Because this next chapter has to be... So... This, this next chapter has to be even more peak than this I feel like a, I feel like a two week break is needed I feel like a, a three week break is needed for this type of chapter for this next chapter because there's no way we're about to get something like this in two weeks I think we need we need a, we need time for Oda to actually really really put his all into this next chapter I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. <sighs> oh my god. So, end of the chapter. This was a 10 out of 10. I love this chapter, absolutely. I will see everyone in two weeks. Digest this chapter responsibly and I mean that with my whole chest because this was a lot <laughs> this chapter had so much going on with it I cannot believe it oh my god goodbye everybody take care